Hello, hello, hello. Oh, blimey, I've just received a notification. Sorry, hello. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, start perfect. as you want to go on. Perfect. It was, it was the perfect timing. Perfect yes. timing. Gali Mera, Gali Spero, what a time you are watching. This is Mappa. I'm still. Thassel is here. Good evening, young man. And apologies to everyone for our late starts. We had to uh, talk about a few things. But uh, mm -hmm. we're here now, I guess. Yes. Yes, we are here. We are here. We are present. We are representing. Thank you very We're much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people can't see that, but um, I'm wearing my fake Cyprus uh, replica shirt from ten years ago. Yeah, but where did you get it from? Uh, from my from my cousin who got it from a uh, reputable place. Reputable. No, it's not disreputable. It's reputable. No, you said reputable. Yeah. Hmm. It's not reputable. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I've only ever seen it written down, man. <laughs> You've been in France for too long, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Soon enough, I will be speaking. Uh, 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 oh, it's my goodness. I haven't moved to Spain. Yeah? Oh, well, I'd get that accent out again, wouldn't I? From, from last oh, week. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, you'll see people, people watching live will see up at the top here. We are not sponsored by uh, uh, foodfromcypress.com this week, but you can still use that code if you want NCN12 for 12% discount at their checkout. We are, however, sponsoring ourselves and a little a, a little thing we're doing on saturday uh, just a just a tiny thing we're doing on saturday micro. very small very small very small thing yes spanish petit shows our petit shows uh mm. 11 or something hour broadcast that we're doing live Elf. for, for charity and Endega. Endega. Yeah, exactly. For charity, um, we're going to be raising some money, or we are currently also raising some money at the moment for a charity called, um, I've got to get it the right way around. Yes. Ena Oniro. Mia Ena Oniro. Mia Efhi. A one dream, one wish. One dream, one wish. So it's a, it's a, for people outside of Cyprus, it's a kind of a make a wish foundation type charity. That uh, also does other without stuff. John Cena. Yeah, there's, so there's no John Cena. You can't see him anyway, so there's no point in being there. Um, no, but, but, yeah, but 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 we do have a, a WWE souvenir uh, on offer as one of the prizes, and it's signed by. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to do this right now while you're Natty Night Hart and uh, Tyson Kidd and uh, oh yeah, there's there's Drew McIntyre and there's um, Cody Rhodes somewhere. Cody Rhodes. Oh, and Kofi Kingston as well. I can't find him. He's here. That's He's here a really good one. No one. Yeah, yeah. But we've we've also got a crap load of other prizes. So many prizes. So many prizes. The I don't say crap load. It's a boatload. It's a boatload. Sorry, it's a boatload. It's an island. Yeah, Cyprus is an island boat. Yeah, it's a boatload. Um, to the point where I'm having to put prizes in three separate sheets in the workbook that i've got on excel on it so that's how many prizes we got we got shirts we got hotel stays we got uh facials we got restaurants we got pillows we got crepes we got Zorbaz. mugs we got zorpas stella's, stella's put enough money to put like five uh, versions of his name on the wheel so he's got a big chance of winning the Zorpas. Uh, I'm, um, I'm fighting Yannick Ferreira for that one. Yeah, right yeah, exactly. Send it to Yannick as well. He, he can chuck he can chuck some money at it. Uh, so you know, we're doing a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of work, a lot of prizes, and and the important thing for charity. So yeah. in in the comments, we've dropped a link to where you can pay. Uh, well, not donate. donate. Um, and that money goes straight to the charity. We don't see any of it. And because we don't see any of it, we kind of need a receipt that it's been paid. 
So you need to email us that receipt there, charity at nc-network.com. And then we put your name on a load of wheels that are going to be drawn. Uh, the Zofbaz one is going to be drawn on the day because there's a little, there's a two week uh, uh, time frame on yep. claiming that. All the rest of them will be drawn at a later date. Yes, yes. Don't worry, we won't be putting people on the wheel and throwing knives at it like they did in the old days with the magicians, you know. Well, it depends. If if somebody <clears throat> wants to win like that. <laughs> then... Oh, maybe some people are into that kind of stuff. So they'll there donate just to be on the wheel. Exactly. See, see, oh, levels. Like you said, okay. there's levels. There you go. Now, on top now, of everything else, yes. on that as well, we also have... An, um, a historical Omonia kit that's being auctioned by charity idols in Cyprus, right? Uh, here he comes. Here he comes. He's got the link. And it's uh, a uh, v Vienna versus Omonia worn shirt. Yeah. Kitanov. Uh, yeah, Kitanov. Boban Kitanov. So that, as you can see, the current bid is 37 euros and it's ticking down. And it's been yep. done so that the uh, uh, the the auction finishes while we're live. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. And the link is also here as well. If you want to bid, it's there. We're going to put it in the description as well. So yes, we are on fire at the moment. Charity idols. Let's get. Let's not get it twisted, right? I I I didn't realize how big this would get. No, I didn't realize, but the fact is, we have the full support of PASP charity idols and our own here. We've got various podcasters joining us, big names as well, far bigger than us. Yeah, but we also have big prizes on offer. Yes, and one was confirmed the other day. Do you may I play the video just for those you who don't know? Video, you can play the video. I'll, I'll play the video and then I'll play a couple more videos because I've got a couple more interesting ones. Here we go. So, on offer, I'll, I'll, I'll let him tell us. Hi, guys, John Carver here. I hope you're well. Uh, congratulations on your charity podcast. I hope you raise plenty of money. And here is a donation from me a shirt signed by the Scotland squad from the game against Spain and the Euro qualifiers. I hope it all goes well. Good luck again and uh, raise plenty of money. There you go. The main man, John Carver himself. And that was Spain against Scotland. Um, that was a Euro qualifier game. And I'll tell you what, uh, let me just bring up the team because he said it's from the squad. Let me just bring up the, the team lineup for that day so people have a rough idea as to what signatures will be on it. Do you, do you mind if I do that, Faso? I just want to... Do wanna... it. Do it. I mean, I, I already know... I, I, I definitely know two of the players, if not three of them. On there. there you go. So, Angus Gunn in goal, Hickey, Porteous, Hendry, McKenna, Robertson of Liverpool, McGinn of Villa. That's why, yeah, you're going to make an offer, isn't it? <laughs> McTominay, I McGregor, I Ryan, Christ Ryan Christie, Lyndon Dykes, then off the bench, Che Adams, Billy Gilmore, Stuart Armstrong, Nathan Patterson, Kenny McLean, John Suter, Liam Cooper, Liam Kelly, Jacob Brown, Lewis Ferguson, Greg Taylor, and Xander Clark. So all of those names should be on that shirt. So there you go. Mm -hmm. You've got nice. a Liverpool player, you've got a Villa player, you've got a Man United player. I mean, come on. And stop, Scott McTominay is like one of my favourite players because people hate him, but yet he scores goals. Like, McSauce. 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 There you mm. go. So, look, we, we've been inundated with messages. We've had so much support. You know, Bedro's been working his backside off, you know, and it's not just Bedro. Obviously, you, Thasso, you've been putting in shifts. Roy, you know, so many people have been getting, even the people that are taking part in the pod, the Green Bulls, uh, you know, uh, Vasily. Uh, there are too many names to mention, but everyone has mucked in, man, and it's been absolutely immense. And I'll tell you what, if this is as successful as I think it will be, pay attention because in 12 months' time, there could be something bigger. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. You don't have to worry about this. You don't have to worry about this. 
because I, I was telling Roy today, I reach for the stars. Yeah. And um, this idea that I have, if you think this event is historic, watch this space. Anyway. I, I, I also should say as well, I should say as well. <laughs> Pedro is resigning. No, you're not. We've no, you're not. We've we've no, already not. received so many donations from people already. Shall, shall we shall, shall we read out the number that we've got already? Yeah, tell them tell them the total yeah, number so that, that we've, we've got. already so, got. This, this is this isn't official, is it? Really, because we, these are the ones that we know about. These are the ones because, that I yeah, yeah. These are the ones that I currently know about because we've either received receipts or we got the spreadsheet from uh, the charity. Yeah, from we the charity the today. Um, yesterday. So we haven't, yeah, had, but we haven't had it today. Exactly. So we don't yeah. know. Yeah. So at the moment, we've got 1,285 euros raised already. Right. So people are knocking it out the park. And, and uh, yeah, um, uh, Jorthil said he would give us 100 euro if I could get hold of a gets buyer. So anybody listening... <laughs> He's got the contact details for Tamori Gets Buyer. I can say he's got no balls to his face or to his shall, ears. Shall I contact Ruel? <laughs> just just get Ruel. a recording of me. Just get a recording of me from the podcast saying, uh, <laughs> Tamori has got no balls. He's got no balls. <laughs> and then just play that on repeat for him for three hours. Then we're getting yeah. an extra 100 euros from Jorthil. There you go. Well, yeah. look, we've received a couple of messages today. I'm yes. going to bring up. I'm going to bring up. I'm, I'm bringing up all three of them, actually. All three of them. Yep. There you go. Here's number one. Hello, guys. Mateo Staudo here. I want to congratulate you on your charity podcast, and I hope you raise a lot of money to to help the kids. I will be following you, and I wish you all the best. Brat, that's my guy. Goalkeeper of the year, hundred percent. He'll come up later. He will come up later. And the next one is from another long-time friend of mine and a, a pretty big name. Although Pedro doesn't know who he is, but Pedro lives under a rock and he plays with a sock. Hey, yeah, after the video, here I'm a poli who me calls at the end of the video. Minimum, I'm a bad at it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw. I'm sure that they'll be able to get a lot of money because it's a very good job. I'm still in the lead. Vasilis Ambragos from Cosmote. Yeah. And just one more because I'm feeling charitable today. See uh, how I did that? Uh, see, see? Nice. Come on, my guy. Let's go. Hello, guys. This is Yannick Ferreira. Congratulations on your charity podcast. I hope you will raise a lot of money. Bye bye. The support nice. is far and wide. Nice. Nice. Listen, he's obviously going to chuck like a hundred euros for that Zorba stuff anyway as well. So, so I'm I waiting. haven't even told him yet. I'm going to tell him tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, as as well as those fantastic messages yes. we're receiving from people, we've also been receiving messages tonight while we've been talking about this. Do you want to do you want to bring up a couple? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we've got. Yeah. Yes, I was yes, I'm... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We, we, will, we will get to that. Yeah. Michali, that's a good question. We'll go into that in just a bit, my friend. Mm -hmm. Mario, respect, guys, again, for the event. Thank you, mate. Thanks for your support. Thank you, everyone, that's, that's supporting us. It's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Abramovich Yacht Field Prizes, yeah. Yes. There you <laughs> of go. course, of course. And uh, George says, "Thassa rocking the Cyprus jersey as it gets by on the back." <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, no man. It, it, as again, it's not real. So there you go. It's got nothing on the back. Baby got back. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, I'll go to the, the friendly tomorrow if you want Thassa. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, Mario, I want you to do a poster of my face, speech bubble, and gets by has got no balls, and just just leave it like that. Us. there <sighs> what you want to get him kicked out i it, kicked it, no out, i it, listen i i want that cease and desist letter i don't care if it's from it's by <laughs> or, or, or whoever <laughs> <He> just <won. laughs> anyway right shall we get to business let's get to business right and let's start with as ever group vida 
Apparently, Voxa ain't gonna go down this season. Well, I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for Alex in goal, they'd have taken a hiding against Ayl. But at the same time, Christos Anesti was making some good saves for Ayl. Ended nil-nil. My green Mr. Sitter there. And um, another volley from outside the box, another fantastic save. But there was a little moment where Voxa claim, claim, or should I say claimed the penalty, weren't given. And I went up the other end, almost scored again, but nope, ended nil-nil. Thoroughly entertaining nil-nil draw, mind. Now on to another nil-nil draw, which wasn't entertaining. Garmiodes against Abolon. Um, Abolon were calling for a penalty in this particular passage. I'm not sure what they were crying for. Didn't look like a penalty to me. Didn't see any handballs, didn't see anything. Just hands in the air like uh, Tony Adams. Next game, Ethnigo beating Salamina by two goals to nil. Goals from Cabrera and Drazic. A good season so far for Ethnigo. They were one of the favourites to go down, but they are comfortable at the moment. And I'll tell you what, they're getting goals from all over the pitch. So, yeah, happy days for them. Happy days for Sacha, isn't it? It's Sacha. Yeah, yeah, yes. it's Sacha. Right. Next game, Othello battered Ayers by four goals to nil. But we're going to go into this one in just a moment. Two goals from Pich. Two from Brambia, comfortable victory for Othello, although it seemed more comfortable than it should have been. And again, we're going to discuss this in just a moment because we had a bit of information sent our way the other day and it was quite alarming, but not surprising at the same time. Thaso, this is what we got. Yeah, we were told... Is. Yeah, we were told that there were some irregular bets happening with this game. And apparently there were lots of bets placed on first half result away win, full-time result away win, total goals over 3.5. And guess what? As we tweeted or X'd, half-time score was 3-0 to Othello, the away team. And full-time score was 4-0 to Othello. So whoever placed those bets was in the money. Mm. In the money. Right. Let's go. I mean, where shall we? Where shall we start? Where shall we start? Yeah, but I mean, here's the other thing, right? It's not like Ayers have a history of this sort of. That's never happened, uh, does it? I'm just, uh, Ayers, sorry, I'm, I'm just reading my notes. I was just reading my notes here. Apparently, in the 2016-17 season, when they were last in the Brodas Lima, they had six points deducted for suspicious betting activity. No way. And um, I don't know if... I would never have guessed it. Oh, I know, right? And um, don't know if anyone remembers last April when there were rumours swirling around that the Armonia, Aradipo and Ayas game was being manipulated. Do people remember that? I know it was like 12 years ago in, in This Is Mapa. Uh, times, but remember, we, I, we we played the video and everything when they were, when they were, <laughs> and they had the subtitles underneath. And of course, remember the first time I reported on Vrionidis long, long time ago with uh, Vrionidis reporting on an Ayers versus Olympia's Limpion game, yeah, and they couldn't figure out who was uh who was at fault for the um, match manipulation. So they took the the Cyprus FA funding and prize money off both of the teams for the season. Oh. Now, yeah, you remember that? You remember that? Um, just about. Yeah, just, 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 just those things. Just, just those things. I mean, there's no, you know, just, just leaving that there. Um, uh, yeah, so what do you think still about that? What do I think? Mm, what do you think? In my humble opinion... <clears throat> and it'd be good, guys. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> Guilty. Is, it, is there anything that you saw in that game that, that, was, that was egregious, let's say? Guilty? <laughs> Look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They didn't look bothered. 
they they they, they really didn't look bothered, especially and for that third goal. When you see the third, the defending for that third goal, it's atrocious. I, I just need to add something. Mm. Do you remember Omonia Ayers this season, mm-hmm. the 3-3, when people were saying that there, there was something going on and then it just went, disappeared, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, well, I think we had a conversation about this, we about did. the right back area of Ayers being a bit rubbish. Yeah. And we gave them the benefit of doubt saying, maybe that play is just not good. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if he played against Othello, but if you watch the goals again, most of the goals stemmed from Ayaz's right-hand side. Yeah. Again, I'm not saying that that defender or that person is involved in it. I'm not saying that because I don't know if they played. And even if they did, I'm not suggesting it. But a bit too much of a coinkydink. Mm. I know, right? Strange one. I know nothing. I mean, there's also there's also the other thing as well is that I apparently can't pay to rectify Digini's shirt. Have you seen this? Yes. Let me just bring that one up. Let me just bring that one up. <laughs> because we, we were a little bit sidetracked, hence the reason why we started late. Yeah. I wasn't really so, prepared but, as well as I should be. But, yeah. But let me just so, bring that up. Yeah, let me bring that up. So... Shoot. Digging his shirt, for some reason, they put a U instead of an I for for the dig. Dugini. So it says Dugini, right? But they've coloured in half of the U. So it says Digini instead. Yes. That no. does not surprise me. Well, carry on talking. I've got a story. Okay, story. good. But yes, yeah, so so Ayers are obviously hard done by because they can't get a new shirt to put uh, the eye in correctly, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, <laughs> since since you are wearing a counterfeit shirt, yes. I have a story about counterfeit shirts, which I directly connected to this story, believe it or not. So I'd say back in 2002, I went to Cyprus with my friend Alex, right? He'd never been abroad in his life. West Indian lad, you know, I mean, he's the one that when we went to Cyprus, he took his valid size suitcase and he filled it up with warm clothes because he thought it was going to get cold. It was in August. You do the (laughs) math. Anyway, I digress. So we've gone down to um, Leoforo, where all of the, how shall we say, souvenir shops are. <laughs> and back then you could still buy VHSs, you know, those mm-hmm. videotapes. And, you mm-hmm. know, when you're watching Terminator yeah. and then someone in the, it's actually in the cinema and there's people. Anyway, and he finds an Arsenal shirt, the, the one that said Dreamcast on it. Right. Yeah. All right. And. He's picked it up and he's turned it out of the back and it says number nine, soccer, S O K E R. It's meant to be Davos Suka. <laughs> but they left the O. But what makes it even worse, similar to the Dingini one, right? What they did, they actually trimmed off the, the a little bit of the curve at the top of the O to make it look like a U. But obviously, because it's been printed on, it's left the the, not the stain, but like a mark, <laughs> hasn't it? So you can tell that it's an O. And he's gone, still, who's soccer? Like, I don't know. Beautiful. That's a beautiful. And he will spot. remember this, and I'm going to clip it and put it on Instagram and tag him. I mean, Alex, <laughs> do you remember? There's also a, a time where I took him to Dimi. My cousin's village in in Buffalo, and uh, he ended up disappearing. But that's another story for another time. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. This probably not for this podcast. I think he's um, the first and only black person to ever go there. I was I was worried he was going to get lynched or something. Honestly, I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh, how times have changed. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was only 2002. Well, yeah. When well, you say that, it's that's 22 years ago. <laughs> We are not going to go there, okay? Yes, exactly. Now, um, 
I'm just so, I, I couldn't think of a segue from that to uh, another bit of news. But if you want, we can dig in even further into this Ayers <sighs> betting map fixing stuff. But I I hope everyone else noticed that that was delicious. It was beautiful. Very wasn't good. It? Yeah, Very good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, um, Ayers Ayers. I as are going to be in trouble, I think, if if people take what we're saying seriously about the. Um... No one takes us serious. Yeah, I know, man. I know, I know. Well, people are are taking us seriously. It's just, um, you know, do you think? Do you think that turtle head will take us seriously or not? <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Oh, how much would I pay if if we could get if, if we could get if we could get him to do a truffle shuffle? Oh. <laughs> There's some people not old enough to know what that is. So you know, if you want to do some editing later, just clip it in. <laughs> just Google it, truffle shuffle. But yes, anyway, we got 51 people watching live. I'm hoping 51 people will know what what it is. At least 50 percent of. <laughs> um, Mario, uh, deep down, I hope the Ayers admin on Twitter clips this segment. And <laughs> listen, there's, there's the the Ayers admin only like I've tagged him so so much stuff so many times on like good news that they've had, and he only responds to stuff that they think is negative that I tagged mm. him. Uh, even mm. though even though at the time it wasn't negative, this is negative though. I'm being negative about your club. It's match fixing. Stop it! I'm just disappointed. That, uh, I'm just, I'm just disappointed that they have missed the trick on their marketing. They could have used a mask of Zorro with the Z. I mean, how many other teams in Cyprus have got a Z in their in their name? Could have That's the a Z there. Point. That's a very good point. If they had a Spanish player as well, I'm sure they got a Spanish player somewhere. I mean, Castro's Colombian. That wouldn't work. But well, Zorro's Mexican, man. Is he? Yeah. I thought it was Spanish. It's Mexican. Oh, shit. And yet, Yordi still wore the T-shirt that I made of him. Okay. Okay. Ah. Mask of Zondi. Anyway. Ah, okay. Sorry. 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 Right. Sorry. So, we've done, right. we've done 27 gonna, minutes. Yeah. Right. And, and we, we, we haven't... Right. So, uh, now Salamin have made the signing of the summer for them. And uh, basically, they've got Nassing for another season. That's a that's a thing. I uh, thought I'd just bring up very quickly. Uh, nice and... thing. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there you go. Um, uh, Abolon lost one nil today to Ayek in a friendly at the uh, Alfamera. Um, that's basically it. However, there was a car accident near the Alfamera, <sighs> near full time. <laughs> For crying out. <sighs> everybody got stuck. Everybody, everybody got stuck. So that was. Um, yep. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what else? What else have I got uh, for down at the bottom there? Uh, but yeah, that seems to be it. Actually, except for the match fixing, pretty quiet. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right, so there you go. Happy days. Yeah, happy days. Happy days. Happy okay. days. So, shall we move on to Group Alpha? We can do. Let's go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, Ayek beat Anorthosy by a goal to nil. Um, but Anorthosy went down to 10 men. Now, why would Dionet push Fransol in the face? I don't know why Franz Sol was on the pitch at the time. I don't know. But anyway, sent off and Castell missed a great chance on the hour mark to give Anorthosi the lead. Good save from Pirich. Ike went up the other end. Double opportunity there. But Dongia with a absolutely sublime finish. That top bin, you don't stop those. And Ike's title ambitions have been elevated and it's scary because Ben Shimon 
has turned this club around. Remember a few months ago under Otro, we were saying if they're not careful, they'll be fighting relegation. Well, they took our advice. Not that we wanted Otro sack, don't get me wrong, but he went. In comes Ben Shimon. And what, they've only lost once, twice, if that? Incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it's it's a psychology thing. It's a psychology thing because he's basically got the same players as Ultra, right? The only player that they've signed that was different from Ultra's team was that Hen Henriquez, and I don't think he's been playing. Mm. I don't think he's he, he's been playing. It's no. there's a lot of players in that Ajax team that have uh, kind of gelled after a period after a betting period. Um, somebody like. Rebege, he was injured for quite a lot of the time while Ultra yep. was in charge, uh, and he's been absolutely solid for them, as 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 is expected. Really, you would think mm. you would think with his performances for Ajax that he'd get picked for the national team. But anyway, anyway. Um, by the by, uh, the 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 whole thing that's different from Ajax now. And from the beginning of the season, is I mentioned this before, is Ben Shimon's got some kind of psychology degree. Yeah. So he's got into these players' heads and has got them firing on all cylinders. Now, this is this is the point in the season where you would normally see how can Ike fall off a little bit and yeah. drop back. Whereas this time they're all guns blazing. And it's very scary for everybody else around them, I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But we've got um, to talk about that sending off, though, haven't we? Yeah. W before we do that, though, um, they've done this without Gushko. And Gushko yeah. has been injured in and out of the team. And a couple of years ago, he was absolutely phenomenal. But Dongia, I need to tip my hat off to him, man. Because yeah, he's, I'll tell you what, he's, he's been, yeah, different class. Yeah, he's he started off the season very poorly. And I think we mentioned it a couple of times on the podcast. And yeah. Again, he's one of the players that since Ben Shimon came in has been a completely different player. He's absolutely rocked it. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah. the sending off. Yeah. Now. <sighs> Number one, I think Fransol knew what he was doing. Yep. He knew what he was doing. And credit to him. Because you could say it's gamesmanship. You could say it's whatever it is. But the fact is, he knew that the lad was going to react. He got him sent off. And there you go. Yeah, I mean, Franz Soldiers well got a yellow card for that. Yeah, it's a one for the team. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. That was... Uh, um, I, I just Mario's there brought, brought up a comment there that says, only negative is that Ben Shimon doesn't use Cypriots. Roberge is Cypriot. R Robert is Cypriot, guys. He's, he's, from, he's, he, he's represented the Cypriot national team. Just leave it on there. Another player who's getting, he's getting game time off the bench that he wasn't, that wasn't getting that game time when Old Troll was in charge is Mamas. He's, he's starting to get yeah. more involved in the team as well. <clears throat> so, yeah. You know, there's there's some there's some players that were kind of left in the lurch that need to bring up their fitness, and I'm pro we probably see a bit more of Mamas as the as the season develops. I think. Um, yeah, no, but if you think about, it, I mean, how many how many Cypriots do they have? They don't have that many, man. They've got <clears throat> Dumba, Mamas, Robert, yep. Catelari, Inglesu, Inglesu, yeah. He, he, yeah, in he, and his his name is Nicky English, for God's sake. Yeah, Nicky English, yeah, 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 <laughs> true, very true. But yeah, very yeah. True. No, they don't. They they don't. Uh, no, no. Yeah, as no well. as well. Uh, they've got they've got a couple of very young players that probably won't get much of a chance as well. No. The, but that's not necessarily the manager's fault. That's whoever's building the team. So you know, Xavi yeah, Roca. Okay. Yeah, anyway. The, the blame's yeah. a little bit on Xavi Roca there as well. But you know, <clears throat> they're doing what they're doing. And mm -hmm. they're doing it well. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a comment here. Uh, going back to the <laughs> going yeah. back okay. to the match fixing. Yeah. Um 
Do you want me to translate it? Or? <laughs> after, what was it after 800 red envelopes? Um, uh, what does that even say? We're shocked. So, shocked oh, shocked. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That we've had this conversation. We believed that the, the league has become cleaner. Shock. And uh, what? Shock. Uh, yeah. Veos is. Veos. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, and, um, we, and we thought only the we thought only we, the church was was had yeah scandals. Had scandals. <laughs> yeah. So for people who don't know, outside of Cyprus, there's a monastery <laughs> at the moment in Cyprian news that's getting all their headlines because of CCTV footage and all the kinds of. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Exo! yeah, yeah, out, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, elaborate. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, that they, 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 they basically the CCTV footage of um, uh, monks getting a bit violent. Uh, there's been talk of like lots of financial um, goings on in this monastery. There's been lots of other things that have been talked about that uh, I don't want to get sued by the church because it's all well mm -hmm. and good getting a cease and desist from uh, from Garmiodis. Uh, but if you've got the church coming after you, then you've got problems. I but don't yes, care if the church comes after been... me. Well, yeah, the, yeah uh, not me either. I mean, I'm, I'm Baglio Meroloidis, so I'm sorted. I'm fine. They can come after me. Well... They come after me. They come after my other people. Anyway. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yes. And so. Anyway. Back to the football. <laughs> the belt would be most, most impressive. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sounds like a cat dying. <laughs> yeah. One more ex off for me. Okay, go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a male priest, yeah? Okay. Okay. Okay, mm. right. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, next. Yep. Back to Hello. the <laughs> Sorry, there's a question here. Still, do you think the Premier League do you believe that the Premier League is more corrupted than our league? You just I, I'm dead serious. The Premier League is more corrupt than the Cypriot League. They just so, took they, they, they just deducted points from Nottingham Forest for stupid reasons. Yeah, for the yeah. same reasons Man City have done them <clears throat> at the same reasons 136 times over, yet they're still deliberating whether or not to give Manchester City a deduction in points. Well, and, and let's not forget the, the subtle ones as well, how Gareth Southgate linked to the Man United job, Man United fans don't want him, and then the next day Kobe Mainu is all of a sudden called up to the England squad, which will bump up his value, please the Man United fans. I mean, come on. Like... <clears throat> my fears. Yeah. <laughs> I was drinking water and that Exo <laughs> maybe spit it out. Exo, indeed. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Right. <sighs> yes. Where were we? Uh, well, uh, Anastasia. Anastasia. Yeah. yeah. Still don't have a head coach. We don't know who's going to get the job. Uh, Okai, uh, uh, is, uh, is there They're not going to have a head coach. Okai is going to look after the team until the end of the season. Um. So, similar yeah. to last season, then. Pretty much, yeah. When Vesco was was in charge. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, except it's for a shorter period this time, yeah, and yeah, the, the 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 coach isn't as good. But anyway, um, anyway, uh, yeah, let's let let's, let's move on. Move on. There's, uh, there's a comment here, Sherry ninety eight. I've never seen this one before, so thank you for joining us. Did the players shirts as long as I was in Zaka? Oh, you did the players shirts. The guy that they have for printing the, the names is incredibly clumsy. Okay. okay. Okay, so it probably was somebody just put a U and they were like, Ugh. Yeah, and they missed out another option. Yeah. Right. He probably pr printed like 20 of that shirt, still managed to do a mistake. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How do you spell thinking it, eh? Is it with an N? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Southgate is the British Doug is Lemon is scarce I am having this uh, Teddy P. Come on. Listen, uh, if you if you behave yourself, I'll send you a very special chocolate orange. Because there's a, a twirl that's chocolate orange now. Just saying. 
Um, obviously, it takes more time for 115 charges to be examined, but let's stick to my pie. Of course, it's a Sete fan, isn't it? Come on. Mm. The unorthodox downfall this season has been crazy. I still remember the game we played against some other guys. be when it looked like one of us were going to win the wrath. Now, that's a boil, right? That is a uh, boil fan. Yeah, yeah that's a boil. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. What do you think it is with them? Because there's a comment here about the number of red cards. They have nine red cards this season. Yep. Nine red cards. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think I think what happened was that um, the dressing room was probably lost when Chico Banza went missing the first time. What, you, um, you think that everyone and, just threw in the towel? Well, and the players haven't been paid. Ah, okay. And the players okay. haven't been paid. So... Yeah, and uh, Sandy was very open about it, remember, uh, last week as well. Um, we reported yes, on it was, last week. He was, but don't forget, there's another team that is... And that's exactly what he said as well. Mm. That is exactly what he said. And mm. I don't think that's an excuse, though, is it? Just because no. one team's doing it doesn't mean all the teams should do it. No, but what I'm saying is that that team has been fighting for the title, whereas this one is not. Correct. Correct. So there you go. Four of the red cards were for fighting the opponents. There you go. There you go. Yep. And two of them, which you could answer. Too much. Oh, do you know what? I've got it. I've got it. Maybe, oh. maybe they need they need to test these players thoroughly for testosterone. No comment. No comment. No comment. Not yeah. I said maybe. Mm. Move on. Yeah, we can move on. Let's move on. Right. Back. Okay. So, in the battle of the new derby of Cyprus, Buffer beats Ari by a goal to nil. A penalty given for a pullback by Benson and Tankovic stepped up, put it down the middle. Van Alves found it funny because obviously, why wouldn't you find it funny after being beaten through the middle? Um, I guess it was more like a satirical laugh more than anything but yeah good win for buffer who face omonia next and mm. yeah happy days for the club with many 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 supporters many supporters and a big banner that says play for the front of the shirt and they'll remember what's on the back yeah poetic yeah. Yeah, very poetic, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Straight, um, straight, straight from Saint Petersburg. Shall we? Shall we also mention another guy who likes getting red cards? Uh, yeah, go on. Spilevsky, um got sent off for yeah covering himself in water. The thing is, <laughs> when he was walking off, because I didn't see the water incident, and he got sent off, and he had a big wet patch on his hoodie. Mm. And I thought, has someone thrown something at him for him to react? And then, but as it turns out, he threw the bottle and as he threw the bottle, it was open and it went everywhere. <laughs> that's actually worse than having a choking fit while you're drinking, where, you know, it yep. comes out your nose and everything. That's actually worse. <laughs> Petro says it's unfair for Spilevsky to, uh, to, to have received a red card for that. Well, no, you see, it it's not like it's a new thing. Remember, there's there's the very 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 memed uh, image uh, video of Arsene Wenger getting sent off for kicking that water ball. Yeah, and then he goes yeah. and climbs up. It climbs up the stadium and just stands above the <laughs> stands above the the dugout like this. <laughs> So yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Man. There you go. Look at yeah. Mario was just uh, brought it up there. But yeah, you know. And Spilevsky uh, has a reputation um, as being a manager with a lot to say. <laughs> He's on the side of the pitch. Look what what I will say. And I'm not here to defend him. I'm playing devil's advocate here. Mm -hmm. Despite him winning the title as head coach last season. He's still relatively young. How old is he? 36, 37? Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's uh, he, he retired early due to injury and then got into oh, okay. coaching very quickly. So right. he's, he's, he's very young. Yeah. Yeah. So 
perhaps it's still the inexperience and also the pressure of being mm -hmm. chased. Mm -hmm. See, when you're chasing for the title, the pressure isn't as intense because the team that's top have to keep looking over their shoulder. Exactly. Whereas when you're the champion and you've got a target on your back and on your front, which is what they've got, is it? I, I can understand his frustration. Now, mm -hmm. for me, that was a penalty. It's a stonewall yep. penalty. Mm -hmm. And was he angry that it was given? Yes, but I think he was more angry at Benson for doing that because it is it's a silly mistake. To it make. is. It is. There's there's a couple of um, things that I saw during the game as well that was like, oh, that's a bit of a weird decision. Uh, and it seems to be Sané seems to be getting these decisions. Yes, yes. Because he should yes. have he should have been sent off for a second bookable offence before he got. A prosectos. I think that's the word to to describe yeah. him. Yeah, but it happened as well um, when they had the really bad weather while they were playing. And he did that mm -hmm. really awful slide tackle and managed to get the ball. <laughs> so he didn't concede the penalty or get the red card for it. So it's yeah. happened It's happened a couple of times, hasn't it? We got sent off against Omonia as well, didn't he? He got two yellows. Yeah. He's, he's, he likes to put his foot... He likes to get involved. Let's say he likes to mm. get involved. Because I, yeah. I don't think he's doing it maliciously. It's just that he likes... He likes, he likes to get in there and... Mm, Get in there and uh, yeah. get the ball. Yeah. Precisely. It's just the referees need to keep up with it. That's all. <laughs> you, you made it sound like a game of Street Fighter there with all those noises. Oh, yeah. That was, that was the what idea. What a flame! <laughs> Show <Sure, you're> good. <laughs> Spinning bird kick! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Anyway. anyway. Yes. Move on. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just had a just had a flashback of nostalgia. Anyway, yeah, okay. yeah. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> anyway, and on to the final game. It's not the derby. The the, the no, proper okay. derby. No, it's the okay. The proper derby. The proper it, derby. We don't need to talk about it. It's fine. Yeah, we do need to talk about this no, because no, it was fine. Upwell nil or one. No, 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 it's fine. It's all right. Stepinski from the spot, the hot stepper, put it down the middle, just like Tankovic. And penalty from the spot, handball from Suzic. When I first saw it, I thought that is um, a debatable one because I don't think he knew much about it. But at the same time, his arm was out. I can see why it was given. Although no Amonia player protested wanting a penalty. They wanted a corner. But mm -hmm. penalty was given. Stepinski scored. And in all fairness, Thasso, I thought you guys were going to turn this round, although, although, I believe taking off Kostadinov was a big, big, big mistake from Sapinto. Let's not yep. forget, he did pick up a yellow card earlier on in the game. And I think there was one moment, in fact, I do know, it was one moment after the penalty was given, he was remonstrating with the referee. And I think Sapinto took one look at that. He thought, right, he's, he's being a bit too mouthy and mm -hmm. I need to get him off before he gets sent off. And Upwell did have some half chances. In fact, the best chance was probably with Bakic for Omonia, who yeah. shot straight at the goalkeeper. At any point in the game, Thassel, did you think Upwell would turn it round? No. No, really? no, no. Because it, in the first half, uh, in the first half, I don't think Upwell had a shot on target. It's, it's, uh, it was no, a disaster of a right. game. It was a disaster of a game. There was too many long shots. They weren't. They, they were just hit and hope kind of things. Uh, and then every time, every time, Sapinto would make a substitution, it would be mind-boggling what he was trying to get the players to do. Like uh, I think at one point, uh, Don Gara was at le left wing, right back. Uh, so, sorry, right back. I thought Dalcio was the Is one it? who went right back. No, no, it was and Don Gara went right back. Don Gara went right back. Dacia was defensive mid. Uh, uh, Marquinhos was in the middle of the pitch. Viafanius played as a number 10, but was drifting into left wing, uh, right wing position. Lonnie came was, on. It was, I mean, he started He started a back four with three fullbacks. Yes. But that's due to injury and suspension, though. No, no, man. No, no, no. no. Let's, not, let's not excuse it. There, there's a central defender that sat on the bench twiddling his thumbs and he refuses to play him for some reason. 
Caramanolis is right there, right? He's right there, and he's he's capable enough, right? He's not as good as Petrovic or Dvali or Crespo, but you know he's got to be better than uh, fucking Chebak, who had a nightmare of a game. He got completely torn apart. Mm. You know, it's he it's, brought on Cipriano though. He did bring he's on a Cipriano. unit. He's a unit, he, six five. He, he, he looks, he looks, he looks like he's going to be a good player. But do, do you know what? The, the one thing I will say about him, sorry to, to cut you off, yeah. right? He's all left foot. I've noticed that. He's Who? all left foot straight away. Who? The Cipriano. The centre back. Yeah. Yeah, he, he he was listed when I saw it. He was listed as a left back as well, so he plays right. he, he plays on in that in that kind of Dvali role, role. right? Dvali or, or Crespo would would have been there, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's, 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 he's a left footed defender, so he's going to be on that left hand side of the defense. Mm. But yeah, he started the game with three full backs. He he ended the game with half the players in the wrong position. I, I, I said I was going to look up the stats of uh, how the team has performed with Sapinto on the uh, on the byline and without him, but you know these last two performances have been below par. I say, right? You can't say you can't say our boy deserved to win either of the last two games, um, and it's not for lack of effort from the players. You can see the players are putting shifts. It's just that they seem confused about what they're supposed to be doing. Well, he, he changed system about four or five times during this game. Well, and... he changed system, but <clears throat> it's not he changed system. He changed where the players were going. It was like he was trying to put square pegs in round holes. You know, I, I, look, I, I'll be I'll be honest with you, right? When I saw your team line up with Doman out front. I don't know. Was Vilita suspended or was he injured? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I think it was pre- preventative rather than right. So uh, the first thing I thought was right. We've got an advantage here because Vilita, as as bad as his goals record is, we keep saying this every week. His play off the ball is yep. something different. He's strong. He's good in the air. He'd have given Kulibali problems. He certainly would have given pa- uh, Banayodu problems. Mm-hmm. Right. But then you look at that that team lineup. So in the midfield, you had Meri, Darcio, and Kostadinov, right? Mm-hmm. Now, Darcio is clearly the better of the three going forward. Meri is the guy that does both box to box and protecting. Kostadinov was the main man. When he took him off, that changed the system completely because he's he's asked Darcio to do that holding midfield role, which he couldn't he do. And credit to um, Anastasio for spotting it. Because the moment the, the ball came towards Ndongala, we had two to three players pressing him to make a mistake. And he made mistake time and time and time again. He brought in Villafanez almost as a number 10, but he told him to drift. That's a problem, right? Marquinhos, as good as he is as a winger, he's been deployed as kind of like this second centre forward. So he's moving more central, which allows Hefte to get on, on the outside. Now... Mm-hmm. When we've got five in midfield, which is what we had, we had the three central midfielders and two wingers, the only place you could have got us was down the flanks. And we knew it. If you try to play central against us, we're just going to suffocate you. And we yeah. did that. So most of your attacks are coming from wide areas. Understandable. But here's where Kavidi Dyer comes in. When those balls goes in, go in the box, he's your problem. But mm-hmm. Domane is not that player. He's not that guy. He doesn't have the same height. He, you know, he's still he's still good in the air. He just doesn't have the same height. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like Vilidaya <clears throat> Plan B. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Because he's the same type of player. He does the same holding on a pressing or all all the same. He's got all the same characteristics as Vilidaya. Whereas yeah. Vilidaya is on a nine. He's on maybe on a six or a seven. And that's what the problem was. Well, I, I expected more from Ndongala in this game. Yeah. Um, uh, look, Hamas is a good player, but he's not as quick. You could tell that he's still not match sharp. The pace is is ridiculous on Ndongala. And mm-hmm. I thought Adam Matthews was going to have problems because obviously 34 years old, no disrespect. But Hefte was always looking for that overlap. And to yeah. be honest, Alium was outstanding, man. No, he was the, the man of the match. 
the, the first 15 minutes, he struggled. I'm not going to lie. He was, he was struggling with the tracking. He was struggling with getting back into position. But as the game grew, his confidence grew and he was tracking back, winning tackles, going forward. Obviously, the Cruyff term was something something sublime to heft out the game. And, and, and he was great. Yeah. But what I will say, you got one player, Maioli, the guy that came off the bench. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be he's gonna be Bro, he, he did he did nothing worth waxing lyrical about. But I tell you what, his movement off the ball, his movement. Mm-hmm. Do you remember how Aguero was at City? No, I'm not comparing yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, but no, 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 but, 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, yeah. of course, but I'm not saying that he's that, he's the same level. No, Don't, yeah. let's let's not get it twisted, right? Aguero is one of the goats, but the movement when he was peeling off the defender's shoulder, stretching the game, dropping deep, those late runs, he's got that in him. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, I haven't seen him play ninety minutes or even half an hour, but when he came on, the first thing he did again, I need to go back to that clip, right? You, he came on, and you guys had a free kick in your own half and that you've launched it over the top and straight away he's on it. I'm like, whoa, just that one move alone. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh hoo, hoo, hoo. this guy's going to be a problem. He's going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. By the way, let's not talk about your lot. Let's talk about my lot. Yeah. Alion was something else. But he was, uh, I mean, the defense did their job. Very well, like you were saying about Dongala being pressed on the whole time. Amazing, you know. You know the, uh, Omonia had, had had the performance. It was it was a, a whole team performance. It didn't need it. You know, they kind of played a little bit like Abuel did against Aris towards the end of the. Not not necessarily, you know, the shit housing, but you know, the press, the uh, tackling, trying to get the ball go on the counter attack force force uh, Abwell players into mistakes and it worked and you know Sapinto after the game was like yeah there's only one team playing football out there yeah but you did the same against Aris a few weeks back and you were ranting and raving about how great the performance was so yeah. you know there's for for yeah, on Monia <laughs> the, the team played yeah, they played very, very well. They played to their strengths. They played to Abwell's weaknesses. Um, and the organisation that the team had was... Well, it was the best team on the pitch anyway. Best team won that game. Joe, I, I could take a lot of positives from this one. But the thing is, I'm not going to get ahead of myself because I, I, I've seen this, this movie before. Mm-hmm. I've seen the prequel. I've seen the sequel. I, I know how this could go. But... If we, as we're, if we're talking about this as an isolated game, which we put what we are, mm. you're talking about a team that was working hard. They're winning first balls, second balls, even third balls. The pressing was great. The organization across the two banks, the, the four and the five, were brilliant. Stepinski, up until Kostadinov went off, was nowhere to be found. And then when Kostadinov was taken off. He had the freedom of the center, center of the, the pitch. Mm-hmm. The tactical fouls I loved because we we didn't do that enough. We weren't ruthless enough in the challenges. We're getting stuck in, which is what you want to see in the derby game. And truth be told, I think you guys lost the game in the huddle before the game, mm-hmm. before kickoff, because I saw Sapinto really trying to G up these players and they've gone on the pitch with that. First five, 10 minutes, you guys were like all guns blazing. But then when we were stifling you and kicking lumps out of you, which is what we were doing, they didn't like it. Nope. And they're like, oh, hang about. How are we gonna how are we gonna deal with this? And I think in the back of their players' minds, your players were thinking, well, if we follow suit and do what they do, then there's a strong chance of us getting continued bookings, continue records because of the reputation that they've had this season. <clears throat> but again, we had the better opportunities as well, which is weird. Yeah, it's, we it's, not, defending it's, most of the time. it's not just that. It's as well, when the team's trying and then you've got the coach in the back, kind of after after a chance, he just goes and stays like that for yeah. God knows how long. Like, it, yeah. it, it, it looked like it, it looked like it looked like he'd lost the game by the, like the 70th minute. 
<laughs> well, did you he, see him at full time? He, he looked like he looked like yeah, he, he he looked like he was about to hand his resignation in. Mate, he was standing in that technical area while the players were just you know you'd have thought he'd go up to him and and g them up, but he it's almost as if he was he was lost. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you know when like you see you hear about kids that are lost in supermarkets and they're just standing in yeah. the aisle, just mm-hmm. that, that's 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 what he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I need it's... my mommy. But listen, if if you're going to win the title, you need to overcome these obstacles and you need to have yeah. that mental strength to do it. Exactly. So listen, I don't think it's the end of the world. And and to be honest, losing that game hasn't turned out to be a bad thing, really, no, because, because Ali. Yeah, drop points, but let's let's bring up the league table anyway, my friend. There we and, go. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it to you. It's it's it is looking very spicy up at the top, isn't there? So you've got Abuel on sixty three, still top, still top, still top. Um, Ayak on sixty two in second, then Aris in third on sixty, on Monia in fourth on fifty eight. It's only five ba- points now, man. I know. And Bafos in fifth on fifty six. If anybody comes to me and says, oh, it's only seven points, Bafos or not. <laughs> uh, and then Anorthos is in sixth with 48 points. And then we've got the, the relegation playouts. We've got Abolon at the top with 43. And then we've got Ethnigos in second with 39. Ael in third with 39. Nasa Lamina in fourth on 38. Garmiodisa in fifth on 28. Doxa in 6th on 22, Othellos in 7th with 20, and Aez is not even on the screen, and I think they're, and they're in 8th, and I think they're on 17 points. Something like that. Yeah. Something Although like they're that. going to be deducted an extra, an extra few points. Like, yeah. What? Um, yeah. Well, before we move on, have you heard the transfer rumours that are circling at the moment? Mm. No? You're well, gonna... Stories from the Gafene, the coffee shop, are that ah, Dalcio yes. is heading to Ammonia, mm-hmm. as is Ekbolo, mm-hmm. Tankovic, yep. Ikoko, and possibly Johnny's. Now, the one I want to talk about is Dalcio, yep. because I saw him talking to his compatriot at full time, yep. Kasama. Mm-hmm. Or, is he going to have some positives to say? I don't really? know, hasn't been playing. He hasn't been playing, has he? But yeah. we, we saw Dalcio link with a Russian club. Yeah. I heard a rumour that Buffo are, are snooping around. If Dalcio does go to Ammonia, is that worse than Efrem? Well, when you say worse than Efrem, right? Well, if, if, <laughs> it, is it worse than Sol Campbell? Listen, the two clubs keep keep doing this. As uh, every generation has like a player that crosses the divide. So previously we've had Efrem, there's Malekos, there's uh, I want to say, who, who else have we got? There's there's, there's plenty. There's plenty. I think Killian, the Killian went. Yeah, Sheridan. Did yeah, Bodego? Exactly. Did Bodego? Uh, Is it Bode? I think so, but it, it wasn't direct anyway. It was no, no. Yeah. I don't know if this wasn't direct for sure. Yeah. Uh, so, so you know, it, it it happens for me if if uh, yeah if um, sorry, did I just see somebody say I look like Jason Statham? Yes, but well, I'm not going to bring that up again. All oh, right, okay. okay. Oh, we love you too. Thank you. Mm. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, oh no, I'm Sorry, not reading that out. Do you want to read that out? <laughs> no, no, yeah, we're so, not using, uh, not so using yeah, that so, word. <laughs> yeah, so that, Dalcio, um, Dalcio going to Ammonia is not as bad as, say, uh, if I'm going in the other direction. Because one, Dalcio isn't a <clears throat> That's the first mm. thing. So Dalcio, no. while he's aware of the animosity between the two clubs. He, um, to be fair, I don't think he would give a crap. 
whereas uh, Gipreo like a frame or Alon FD or Anyway, yeah, Sorry. yeah. Uh, uh, no, I'll just like, bring up the comments while you're talking, don't worry. Yeah, uh, <coughs> players like Alon FD or uh, Ephraim or Maleko, play, players like that, know Ugh, what that means. <laughs> they know what that means, that transfer means for people. So th they are worse in either direction than, say, uh, a foreign player. As long as Dalcio has been at the club. It's not as bad as as all that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but, but given the financial situation of the club, if he was to jump ship and go to Armonia, of all clubs, how would the fans react? I mean, I, I would just shrug it off. I Personally, yeah. I would just shrug yeah. it off. It's just part and parcel of business. Now, if... Um, if Sacha turned around and went to Omonia, then I'd kick off. Again, it's for the same reasons. Yeah. yeah. It's for the same reasons. So this that's just that's that's just what it is. Uh would be nice if Dalcio stayed and didn't go to Omonia. But if he does go to Omonia, he'll know that um, you know, he's not gonna be involved in title challenges as much. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> 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 look at this one. All right, well, look, we, we, we've got the uh, the Thassa loving at the moment. Mum, mm. can we have Jason Statham? No, we've got Jaden Statham at home. <laughs> and uh, Jason Stathamis. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean, Thassa is not a Gibraltar? He's a father from Leo Baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We can, we can run with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll run with that. No problem. With that. Um, okay. So. Now. Now, shall so for non game news, I've got I've got either we can go either shit good shit, shit shit good, or good shit shit. What do you want? Do we have any violin related? No, we stories? don't. No, don't. no, we do not. We but, do. Oh yeah, so there, we... sorry. There is there is an extra little bit as well that will have our our other theme tune, so we can play we can play that in if you want. Well, right now. Oh, we, we, yeah, we, can, we might as well throw it in there because I've not I've not looked at it in detail yet, but we have had some news from our friend. It's time to spin the wheel. What is going? Beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Right. Amazing. So. So. Um, Fionn has <laughs> released his released his little his, his released his little thing here. Released his little what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, heard little... right. you, you, you heard me right. Um, it could be the size of that gooba that Buffo was eating. That <laughs> Buffo <laughs> the other day. <laughs> Uh, for 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 people who haven't seen it, you really you really need to see it. It's something. It's something... <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so um, just just a quick one is that. So remember, we talked about you know our good old mate doing the doing the punch in the waist. Our good old friend Chico Banza doing the oh, fucking Chico time. Have that, yeah. Um, so. He's assaulted Buckeye in essence, right? The only thing, the only thing that he hasn't done afterwards is kick him, <laughs> like he got say a jab of thumb in the eye. Yeah, he could. Yeah, you know. but, but at least he didn't try and kick him afterwards, like uh, yeah, like De Lucas did. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, what do you think Vrionidis gave him? Uh, 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 I don't know, um, Ankurka. No, not even. He's been fined, so he's been so he gets the too much suspension for the sending right. off, and a fine. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that's it. That's that's all he did. That's all he did. Right. It's like, it's like we say he spins the wheel, man. He spins the wheel. 
Yeah. Wow. There's no other way to describe it. It's not consistent. He's got a wheel and he spins it. And Mihaly is saying, is it me or is the spin the wheel song starting to get on your nose? It's not getting on anyone's <laughs> nose apart from yours, my guy. And it's going to stay here until three of these goes. And when he can't, when he's replaced with someone, we're going to do a different one. And it's going to be just as annoying yeah. to you. Yeah. So it ju- it just might be us going d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d for like thirty seconds. And if that isn't annoying, we'll do it for a minute, and then two minutes. Yeah, we'll do it for an hour and ten. Oh God, please no. Um, now. In the same, <laughs> it, 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 no, no, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and change the uh, and change it. Let's see if you can concentrate while I'm going. D, 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 yeah. d, d. So in in the same post that he does, right? We've got here an under 15s Abolon coach, right? Was dismissed for indecent behaviour towards the first assistant referee in the 76th minute. Indecent behaviour. Yeah, indecent behaviour. Well, he now, did the bedroll and he just turned up with nothing but his <laughs> long jacket on. And just went... <laughs> now, compared to Chico Panza... <laughs> <The> Sharon Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon Stone. <laughs> it's, it's a translation error, I think, from... from, yeah, from it's people. got to be. But, it's got to be. Compared, compared to... Pull my um, finger. For fuck's sake, man! Come on, <laughs> I'm trying to do the thing. Com- compared to what Chico Panza, <laughs> sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. It's I'll an stop under fifteen game, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, Please don't show up. Compared, <laughs> <laughs> call back to last week. Um, now, compared to uh, Chico Banza. What do you think this guy got hit with? Five game ban. Well, I mean, he's got a three game ban plus the red oh. card that he would have got. Five games. Maybe he had a trim. <laughs> yes, he had a trim. So that's that's kind of it's not it's it's not good, is it? It's not good, is it? It's not good. It's not good. They're not good. I don't know. It, it literally is spin the wheel, isn't it? That's why we. Yeah. That's why we've got the theme tune, Mihalimo. That's mm. why we've got the theme tune. Any more? No man, no man. Nothing to not know. Well, <clears throat> I did a bit of digging and I found out what happened in the Olympiagos game. Oh, good, Papua. good. So I, I I overreacted just a little bit. Just a little. Bit. Okay. Just because from bit. what I understand is. You've got the railings behind the dugouts. Right. Did you hear that? Yep. It's a motorcycle. <clears throat> anyway. And above the railings are is, is barbed wire. And the fans got a little bit rowdy and they were shaking the fence. And the barbed wire fell off the fence and hit the top of the dugout. And I think it grazed the, the head coach but everything's fine. But I don't know how they got to saying it was a 15 year old girl. I, I, I don't know. No, it That's was, it was, was written. Told. It was, it was written in the thing. Remember I read it out. I, I know. But yeah. what I'm saying is that is what I was told. So that's okay. the official slash unofficial line. Okay. So that's all I know. Okay. That's all I know. Okay. Fine. Fine. It's okay. So no 15 year old girls were attacked. No, apparently. Allegedly. Anyway, we done? Yeah. Okay. It's time to spin the wheel. What is coming? We don't know. In the wheel now. Just for you, Michali. Because you know yeah. you love it. Spin the wheel now. Now, uh, since we're talking about violence on the pitches in places where there's not supposed to be, uh, mm-hmm. especially weird places, why yes. don't we go to Stock Epileptikis? Yes, let's go yes. there. So this is this is basically the fourth division in Cyprus. It's the mm-hmm. uh, it's the top of the Agrodigo. It's basically the Conference National League, if you're thinking about it in English terms, right? Um, so. 
Um, Anayenisi Mutayagas, that's that's a name for a club that. Anayenisi Mutayagas had a game against El Pida Llobetriu. There you go. That's, that's your hometown. Yeah. Um, the town and, of hope. Yes. Okay. Where, where, where does that come from? Town of Hope. What's the name of the club? Ah, yes. El Pida. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. El Pida Hope. Mm. Um, yeah. So some unsavory things went on. Uh, and Anayenisi Mutayag has put out a Facebook post about it. So, yep. Our team didn't manage to win today, but we want to focus on the events that happened after the end of the game. With the referee's final whistle, around 50 or 60 El Pida fans entered the pitch and tried to attack our players. But with the help of El Pida agents, the private security team hired by our team and the police, we managed to enter the dressing room. For 20 to 30 minutes, we received objects and firecrackers from the locker room windows. In the end, with the help of the police, three patrol cars they escorted us to to the highway as management we warned the stock federation the stok that's the the non-league federation in cyprus as well mm-hmm. as the cyprus fa one week before the game about what would happen today and as an administration we will rate wait for the report of the observer as well as the referee and we will file a complaint about what happened today so Agrodigo. Mm. People f- people feel very strongly about the Agrodigo, it seems. Um, yes. Especially in your bedri. 50 to 60 people showed up to uh, El Pidalio Petri versus Anayenis Mutayaga's game. And they showed up specifically to cause some shit. Yeah? It did. Because well, it was how, organized. That's how we're seeing. It was organized, right? Full time whistle goes. Gonna run towards the players and then we're gonna chuck firecrackers into the changing room. Well, this happened when? Uh this weekend. Saturday, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So they digested their food from Sigma Venti, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Got you. No, the the the, the thing that is worrying there is that Anayenisi Anayenisi Mutayagas warned the authorities about something like this happening. And they just went. <laughs> now, Theodoros got something very uh, uh, interesting in the comments. Leo Petri, it's like Hackney. So it's a gentrified village. There's a cost of coffee on every corner. I I I think I think he, uh, I think he was expecting Hackney to be some kind of like hard hard man. Uh, it, it, it is depending on which part you go to, but Hackney now is more like oh look, there's a Starbucks in the corner. Oh look, there's a poetry shop there. Oh my goodness, I can get a uh, uh, organic avocado and whatever. No, I'm going. I'm going to let you sink in this. Go on. No, no, no. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you're done. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm done. No <laughs> bees were harmed in the transfer of these avocados. Oh, None that's of them. good. That's Piers good. Morgan is happy. Right. Mm. Well, then what's Piers Morgan got to do with bees? Oh, okay. So. Uh... So no, it don't matter, it don't matter. If it takes too long to explain, let's move on. No, no, he, he just had a massive row on TV with vegans because they were talking about meat and all that kind of stuff. He goes, well, you eat avocados. Do you know how many thousands and millions of bees are, are harmed in the transfer of avocados to, to the UK? Don't you worry about them. So no. that's, that's, that's it. That's it. Okay, fair enough. Right. Yeah, look after the bees, man. Accurate. Yeah, you know, Scovan knows, man. Hackney is gentrified now. Even Brixton is gentrified now. But if you go to Plasto and Stratford, different level. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hackney's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> right. So, I, uh, let's, uh, we've gone, we'll go from one cesspit, see where I'm going, to another. And Sorry, um, viewers from Leo Petri. Yeah, also didn't mean to well, I, I was more, I was more, more hackney. But oh, okay. Uh, 
Uh, the Committee of Ethics and Safeguarding in Sport has released a statement on an ongoing investigation regarding match fixing in football. Oh, there you go. So this Head's is back up. yeah, this isn't this isn't even the IS stuff we reported on. This is oh, different goodness. stuff. Yeah. So uh, the Sports Ethics and Protection Committee announces that it has received from the investigating officers the conclusion on issues concerning football refereeing, which it has adapted in its entirety. Based on the findings of the investigating officers, it appears there may be seven cases of matches between the period 2019 and 2023 that may have been manipulated and further another seven different cases that have been identified identified that must be further investigated by the police as it appears they may involve influence and a possible manipulation of the entire championship the oh entire Brodathlima. the investigating officers have proceeded to record a list of actions to be taken by the cyprus football association to improve things in order to reduce bias the how many how, over how many years was this by the way this is between 2019 and 2023 oh during, so, the, during the pandemic as well? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, okay. interesting one, isn't it? Well, you know what's going to happen? People are going to say, well, it's, Omonia bought the title when they didn't win it, and Omonia bought the title when they did win it. I, 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 think, blame. I, I think there's some... There's some it, 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 it seems to be about the refereeing anyway. We heard the referees at the beginning. Mm. Okay. Now, both both sides of Lefkosia have claimed referees are supporting the other side oh. so and you know people have been putting facebook posts of uh referees for our boil games uh wearing armonia shirts and waving armonia flags and then referees for monia games having uh abuel referees with abuel shirts and abuel flags and the rest of it uh, is it part and parcel it's a small island there's only four or five six massive teams so uh people are going to claim bias all the time regardless of the referee involved anyway yeah well look i, I i'm just going to throw it out here <clears throat> the year that we won the league mm. you had players like miguel silva you had vinicius you had Kevin LaFrance, no disrespect. You had, uh, who's did you have? You had, let me just bring it out one second. You had Ludemo, Dalsvili, Anwa, uh, yeah. Vrondis, you had yeah, it's, uh, it's, Jack it, Byrne. It's not, the, it's not the best team. It's not the best team. It's not. It's not. Bonavides, you had Ensue, you had... Ben Saha, you had Joe Garner, you had New Who. Now, yeah. I wouldn't blame the referees for you not, not winning the league. You even had Mick McCarthy Correct. at one point. I mean, yeah. you need more than referees to help you win the title with that Correct. combination. Correct. But I don't think it's just what I'm, what I'm trying to get to is it's not just... Um, we we don't know we don't know what it is it's it, it, they're talking about referee bias in general to the point where it's affected the championship right so it's not just it it's not between Omonia and Abuel say in the covid season because yeah Mick McCarthy uh, and the decisions made during that season made us go into the relegation playout group right hold on didn't Olympia Goz finish top six that season? Ah, there you go. There's one there. Let me know Don Aridis. I'm going to block him on Twitter before he gets us. Don Aridis. Never surrender. Don Aridis is to the thing. He did the thing with it. Anyway, um, so, so, yeah. Um, there, so, there's there's a bit more here. I don't know how base station models feel. <laughs> You can explain Babe Station to people who uh, <laughs> who who, uh, who, do, who don't know uh, about it. Babe Station was the late two, 2010s, early 2015. Well, sorry, between 2018, I'd say 
it was like only fans but on television and you could actually call up and talk to these girls and they would pretend to do stuff like only fans models would yeah uh, and you could watch it while someone else is talking to them but you can't hear the conversation yeah is that best is that yeah that sounds about yeah. right I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> I just, no. I knew, I just knew a couple of them. That's all. Oh, all right. Past got tense. You. Got you. Got you. Okay. Anyway, um, the uh, the recommendations of the investigating officers will be sent to the Cyprus Football Federation. The Sports and Ethics, the Sports Ethics and Protection Committee will soon arrange a meeting with the Honourable Attorney General of the Republic of Cyprus to deliver the findings, as well as the entire material collected by the investigating officers. Now, for me, there, for, yeah, for me, there, there's nothing there for anybody to get pissed off about, except for you know, if you like football, they're they're not blaming anybody in general there. At least the way I read it, they're not blaming anyone in general. But if you ask the Cyprus FA's press officer when they were asked about it, uh, when they were being interviewed, um, he said, we don't know anything more than you do. We're waiting for details to see what they mean. As a federation, we'll take all necessary actions. Let me also remind you of the noise last June that we had hidden files and then the commission with a modest announcement said that we had not done anything reprehensible. We are waiting for an update. <clears throat> And when necessary, we will position ourselves. So, what what were the what was the first sentence? We don't know anything more than you do. Scandal. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So, two things I'm going to do. Two things from that. First, Cess said they would no longer announce when they were investigating certain games and would only come <laughs> forward. Would only come forward if there was something to report on. All right. So they said that last season. Um, so the Cyprus FA wouldn't know anything, otherwise they may have misplaced in, misplaced information that would have been useful for an investigation. Right. That's the whole point. We don't announce it so that then you don't go say putting uh, papers in a shredder. Right. <laughs> Some people have done that before when they've been told that there's an investigation happening. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm just saying something. would have happened to a second division team, would it? That, I don't know. I don't know what you're coach, talking about. I have, I have no idea. I'm just saying it happens. Um, I'm just reading second, my notes here. Sorry. <laughs> secondly, SES have made no accusations against the FA. They're just saying... This is we're going to give them recommendations to get rid of certain biases, right? They're going to be oh. providing a list of actions to improve things. That's what Seth said. So why would the Cyprus FA press representative come out and be like, yeah, "Remember that thing they said in June, and fuck all happened with it"? Yeah, this is going to be uh, <laughs> right. So I've got. A are you, re you are you referring to that six thousand page document, which we're Maybe. still. Yeah, I was going to ask never about came that. Out. Which never came out. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Yeah. So here's here's my theory on why uh, the press officer decided to be a little bit combative with uh, with his response. Right now, on the CES uh, board is that um, Mustaga that likes to go on the TV a lot. Yeah, he likes to go on the TV a lot and wave his dick. Well, not not literally wave his dick around, but uh, he likes He's to. He's the guy that got done for indecent. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the under 15s game. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um, the, uh, but basically, every time he goes on the TV to talk about a finding that Cesar found, he basically purges, perjure, perjure. Perjury. He does perjury on the whole investigation. Huh. Basically, he says something that he's not supposed to say, and then they have to throw the investigation out because of some rule about uh, non-disclosure and the rest of it, right? Mm. So what the press officer and the Cypress Affair are trying to do, they're trying to get this guy out on TV to do the press tour to say something that goes against this non-disclosure agreement, and then it all gets thrown out again. <laughs> levels man 
There's fucking levels. There's levels. So, we're um, safe. yeah. So that press statement came out this morning, right? So, if the guys on TV, if, if you almost that guys on TV tomorrow being like, oh, if they only knew, blah, 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 then, then the Cyprus FA have basically won and nothing's going to happen again. Oh, the, the, the glove is the glove doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the murder gonna, weapon they, wasn't there. <laughs> they, they're gonna they're gonna OJ it again, yeah. <laughs> now um um one of the journalists out, Mera as well, tonight came out with a bit of a shocker. There's an eighth game that's being investigated. Dun, dun, uh, dun. And this one is match manipulation by sponsors. Now, hmm, me and Stella have this discussed sounds, this. This sounds very familiar, Thassa. Yeah, I mean, I don't, because we, I don't know where this comes from. We we didn't discuss this, I think, live. We've discussed this privately before. We have, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. It's good of them to finally pick up on some stuff. That's that's all I'm going to say. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now, if do you have any further comment on cesspits? Guilty. <laughs> Clip it. Guilty. Guilty. They did it. They always did it. They always did order, it. Order, order, order always... in this court. Yes. Don't, 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 don't. I just need the gavel. That's what I need now. I need the gavel. Order. Don't, You're don't, don't. out of order. This whole court is out of order. <laughs> You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Sorry. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Get you get Al Pacino mixed with uh, Jack Jack Nicholson. That uh, there you go. You've got it. Yeah. You got yeah. it. And then, you know and then put a bit of Sean Dyche in, and you've got you've got fucking turtle head. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I find funny about this whole situation? And again, maybe this is just my warped sense of humor. But every time you read a story about cess and the cfa i always have park life in my head <laughs> so you're talking you'll be like and says say that there's a document that hasn't been released park life <laughs> yeah, pretty much pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Well, like, like three on these is like i wake up in the morning and i go downstairs and have my cafe park life I then and i watch chico and... panza punch that guy in the chest so many times <laughs> park life and i <laughs> go in my office and i spin the wall and hope that it just lands on anything so i have something to say park life oh the people <laughs> da, 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 da. I, there's actually something that's come up there from theodoro which has reminded me imagine video need and caravida on the you can't handle the truth yes yeah now Remember last season when Baralimni fans were going off about Voxa surviving relegation? Yes, yes, yes. So, in Garavida promising Voxa will not get relegated with me in charge. Well, they still got seven games. Yes, there's six points behind Garmiodisa. <clears throat> But um, mm. yes, now there you go. Now, uh, so so basically, we did we did the shit at the front, so we can finish off with the good stuff. Then, so I like this game. Yes, yes, we can finish on positive stuff. So, um, the players' union, the Cyprus players' union, every year they like to do their their, their award ceremonies. Yes, and a couple of the awards that they've done. Uh, or that they've opened voting for for the general public is one is the top saves, yes, and then the other is the top goals of the regular part of the season, so the first 26 match days. Is that right? 13, 26 yeah, match days of the season, yeah. Um, and they've released a couple of YouTube videos to help people decide which, yes, is... they have indeed. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, let me let me just bring up the website first. Yep. So you will see the PASP website right here, PASP.org.cy forward slash voting goal save 2324. And you have a list of, uh, well, you put in your name, your telephone number, and then you select 
five saves and five goals. And mm-hmm. let's bring up, let's bring them up, shall we? Let's bring nice. them up. Let's do our, let's do our own little one, so we can, we can get it to the uh, the viewers as well, so they can have a look. Let's go with the saves first. Let's go. With yes, the saves. let's do it. Can, can you see this? Yes. Can you see this? Is the screen full now? Yes, I can't it see. is. Yeah. Okay, let's go with yeah. that then. Let's go. All right, it's so the top five saves. I'm not going to play the music or anything. So this is Fabiano against yeah. Garmiodisa. Great save that is. Mm-hmm. It's a shame that Garmiodisa scored literally moments later. This one is Poliaric against Ethnic Golf for Garmiodisa. It's a great save Beautiful. that is. One-handed save over the top. Lovely. Great save that is. Then it's Leuvenberg near post. Although I still can't figure out... Did he get a left hand to it? He got, yeah, he's, it was his elbow, wasn't it? He saved it with his mm-hmm. elbow. Uh, Arboleda, this is another good save. Mm-hmm. Another good save, even though he's a liability. <laughs> Down that is. Down is yeah, near post. Right. And Taldul, our guy. That's another Beautiful. very good save. Yeah. Another good save. He he dove, not dived, he dove. There you go. Yeah. Francis Ozoha, point blank rage. This was a very difficult save. Very good save as well. Yeah. And then, and then he, he, he kind of. <clears throat> yeah, of course, yeah, as well. yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I think it's a pe- fairly standard save that one. That's what, yeah. Evil Sitch as well, point blank range. I think that's mm. straight at him, to be honest. But you know, that's that's just my opinion. And I'm in the goalkeeper's union, mm. Vanna Alves against uh, uh, and obviously another good save, but we should be making that save, to be fair. Should yeah, be making that save. Goalkeeper of his quality should be making that save. And Dimitrio, this is a good save. I like that mm-hmm. one. But it, it was more theatrics more than anything, I think. Yeah. Uh, and Zadro for um, uh, Ari. Right. Yeah. Piric, another good it's, save onto the crossbar. I like that one. Yeah. One hand turns it onto the fingertips onto the bar. And uh, uh, uh Buffon, yeah. Buffon, yes, correct, yeah. correct, yes. Uh, yep. uh, Kiriago, that's a good save, but again, that's, more theatrics uh, yeah, than anything, that's... more theatrics more than anything. And I don't know, I like it, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yep, yeah, maybe yeah, that's, that's, that's a fairly yes. standard one to choose yeah. to be getting to that, yeah. But I think it's, it's difficult because it comes late, but anyway, yeah. so do you want to? Uh, who are your five? Well, I, I already did it. I posted oh, it on Twitter okay. for people. So, okay, no, man. Uh, Spoljaritz. Yes. Taudul, That's what, in that order or just your... Oh, just, uh, you just pick five. So you okay. pick five <clears throat> when you do the vote. So Spoljaritz, Taudul, uh, Van Alves, Buffon and uh, Griago. Okay. I okay. really like it. I don't care if it, it, just, it just looked like... It just Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to okay. watch. Fair enough. Yeah, those were my five. Okay, I'm gonna go in no particular order. I'm gonna go Melissas, mm-hmm. I think, because of the speed of the ball, pace of mm-hmm. the ball. I'm gonna go, so it's Melissas. I'm gonna go with Uzoho. That was a mm-hmm. difficult save. I've got three more. Fabiano's one that, that was Gordon Banks, Peter Schmeichel esque. Uh, Spoljaric. And I'm gonna give it Arpoleda as well because I've been slating him. So I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him that. Yeah. I'm gonna give him that. Now the goals. Oh yes. Now the goals, my friend. Okay, let me bring that up because this is this is gonna be very difficult. Very difficult because we, we've seen bangers this season. Especially towards the beginning of the season. It was like bangers and bangers, every, bangers and bangers. Every other goal was a banger. Yeah, hundred percent. Right, Ade. Let's go with YouTube. Let me turn that off. Make it big. Here we go. Make 15 best goals. And we need to select five for crying out loud. Right. Christo Dulu, first day of the season. Othello. Bang. Top bin. You don't stop it. You don't ah. stop it. Uh, Andreo for Ayel. This, this one as well, yeah. Oh, I don't Jesus. even think that's the best goal of the game, to be honest. Um, uh, okay, they're giving it to Andreo for Ayel. This Sook's one. Goal against him. He's Again. on the master lace turn and, and uh, Koulibaly was out of here. He was gone. He was on the bench for about four weeks after that. Yeah. Efrem against Omonia. Free kick. Yeah, top free bins. Kick. Yep. Dragomir against 
at the edge of the box, well, not even edge of the box. I mean, it could, be, it could be any of Dragomir's goals, really. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like it that out. when he scores. He levered it. Alistair Reynolds, yeah. another cracker, top bin. I love those ones because the, the, the net bulges and the ball comes out. Yeah. Demers with a free Demers kick top too. bin as well. Ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Look at the quality of these goals in this league, man. The disrespect we get. Jalma, again, another very good goal. Very, very good goal. I don't even think that was a cross. I think he meant it. Kefte, there's, there's that was one, a cross. I don't care what anyone cross. says. That's <laughs> a cross. It's a cross, but it's, it's, a, cross. it's a great goal. <laughs> yep, for sure. For sure. Nikolic, free kick. Another one, top bin. They all go top bin, these free kicks, man. Mm -hmm. Blimey, look at the spin on that ball as well. Flipping out. Valbuena. This is a goal as well. Bam. Yep, lovely. Top bins. Top bins. I love saying it. No one to get into that man. Rafa Lopez. This is one of my favourites. Volley edge of the box. Come on. Come on. That's just yeah. Yeah. That is and he hits it clean as well, man. Doesn't come off your shin or nothing. Gus Ledes against Ammonia. Another cracking strike. Although you can't give him that much room, man. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I know it's most of these goals against us. <laughs> <laughs> Sagaz uh, header against us. Yeah, surprise, surprise. I mean, I mean, fine, I guess. I'm not sure why this was included, but fine. It's a strong header. Cabrera. And then and then this goal, man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Again, again, it's <laughs> against the money, yeah. It. I mean, you could even say that um Ilya's goal against us should be up there. There's there's loads of goals, man. Loads of goals yeah. this season. So, yeah, but I think five. they could only pick a one. Uh, I think they only pick like the winner of the goal of the week. Uh, okay, included. understood. So understood. each one of these is uh, a goal that was scored in okay. one week. Uh, well, I mean, it was it was very easy for me. Uh, the first four, so Cristodulo, yeah, Andreu, Joey Suck. Joey Suk, let's <laughs> pronounce his name properly. Uh, uh, Frames free kick, and then Valbuena's little blip against Doxa. What one minute? Say that again. Start them. What are they? Christodulu. Yeah. Yeah. Andreu. Yeah. Joey Suk. Yeah. Yorgo Efrem, the free kick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the free kick. You, well, you, didn't, okay. like, you didn't like the free kick? Okay. okay. Not that it was against us, but out of all of those, you're putting that in your five. I'm putting that in my five. And Valbuena's gold as well. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say this, but you're a weirdo. I'm a weirdo, okay. I'll I, I tell you my five. Yeah, I on. agree, Christodoulou. That's ridiculous. I agree. Joey Suk, ridiculous. I'm going with Rafa Lopez's goal because yeah. that was just... I'm going with Cabrera's one because on the turn. Mm. And bro, Vlad Dragomir. I don't know, man. I think, look, look I, want, I, wanted, I needed some space in there for Andreu. That goal from Andreu was something But else. you picked Efrem's goal over Dragomir's goal. Yes, I have. Efrem's... Free kick, dead ball. Yes. Over that. Yes. Wallahi. Okay. Okay. It's opinions, man. It's different opinions. strokes for different folks. It's opinions. I, I like I like I like a friend's free kick, man. I don't know what to tell you. But Dragomir's goal. Like I said, like I said when we played it, is Dragomir's it goals all look like that. On the volley. From 25 yards out. He didn't, the ball didn't me, even I'm bounce. Gonna, I'm not going to apologise. I've already put my votes in. You can't change my votes. What is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. I can't bet. Viewers, for those watching and have seen the goals, Nate, tell us your five. Let's just... Yeah. I'm I mean, not even I saying mean, tell, which one would tell, you take, Dragomir or Ephraim. I, I, who, no, what are your five? Tell... What are your five? Tell the players' union your five, because right the reason why they they ask you to put your name and your phone number in there is because 
the winners of the draw that they're going to do is going to get tickets to the award ceremony. Ooh, I'm yeah. going to fill it in now. Oh, yeah. Vianos, Boljaric, Arboleda, Uzoho, and Melissas. There you go. There you go. Oh, well, you, you've also got to put the rest of your details in as well. well. I'm not going to do it live on the flipping thing, am I? <laughs> your phone number. You're saying babe station. It, 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 the, the, problem, the problem that we've got there is, though, is you need to put a separate phone number. You can't put you can't put like a UK code or anything like that because I tried to do that and it was like nope only num phone numbers in Cyprus. Hmm. I put Bedros so, number then. Yeah, like I put my brothers. So okay. So so Sava, you know if you if if you get that phone call, let me know. Don't don't keep it to yourself. Yeah, I want to go to the <laughs> like to the award ceremony. Uh, he's, take the tickets, yeah. man. He ain't gonna find you. <laughs> he ain't gonna find you uh, Dragomir's Thunder Bastard will win I want to smoke whatever Thassos smokes Zoha's gonna win it um, oh they turned into Doxalona in Group B <laughs> <laughs> Garavilla said he'll only be relegated if you push him with the Fuchta, Fuchta okay. Well, okay I don't know what that means my, my... Cypriot isn't as advanced. Yeah, as my, my mind's not that advanced either. Uh, Dragomir's goal was fine. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. It's because he's our boy Lister. Ah, I don't know around, Donny. I don't, I don't think it's because of that. I don't think he, he, he chose Ephraim just to wind me up because he knows I don't like Ephraim. I mean, I mean a little bit. <laughs> I did it a little bit. <laughs> a little bit for that. Just a very small, just a very small bit. You're lucky it's this time of year. Otherwise... Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. Ah, uh, okay. All right, I'll I'll I'll, I'll remember that for the first <laughs> uh, no, Mario has like... gone with Dragomir Letes. Okay, Cabrera Cristodulo Lopez. <laughs> that wasn't on one other in his previous life. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt nah, it. man, you don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get beat up by my cousins. It's not happening. <laughs> Right, is there anything else we need to touch on? No, man, I wanted to finish on some good news for once. Okay, good. Okay. Well, we gave you the past website. Go, do your vote, register. And if you win tickets to the event, get us a signed shirt. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll send you a This Is My Pass shirt. Hey, hopefully my and Bella will be in that team. We can get the my and Bella shirt printed or even the, the Morgan Brown one. Yeah. And you guys can get it signed from. Exactly. See? Or... See? Beautiful. I think it's time for us to drop another This Is My Pafanella, man. I think we need to do it. All right. I've, I've got some ideas. I think we need I've to do it. Ideas. Or we could just get the logo printed for a start. That would yeah. be a good start, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, don't worry. I've got, I've, got, I've got some things cooking in the fire up here. Okay. 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 We, we could talk about it after. If it's in want. the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. All right. yeah. Let him cook. Let him cook. Right. Yeah. Boys and girls, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to give us a follow on Instagram at This Is My we are on Twitter at this is Mappa. We're also at NC underscore underscore network. We have a Facebook group page. We have, or Thasso has flezcafes.com. Thasso's Instagram is here and his Twitter. And mine is here. Mm -hmm. There. Yeah. In, in that general area. Yeah. In, in, that ge in that general area. Um, and also, Saturday, Thassel? Do you want to remind people? Oh, yeah. We've got that thing on Saturday, haven't we? Yeah. The, 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 I think it's working out to be an 11-hour broadcast with all the people. Just all the people. And they all go hand in hand. Hand in hand in their park life. Park life. <laughs> Yes, correct. So we will be doing our charity broadcast on Saturday once again to remind everybody, um, give generously. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've got some we've got some stuff lined up. We've got uh, a couple of interviews that are going to be broadcast uh, to give to give Stell and Bedro a bit of a break while uh, uh, while they're being played. Uh, we've got the prizes, we're giving them away. We're giving them 
we're doing lots of stuff, man. We're doing lots of stuff, and it's all going to be happening. Keep your eyes peeled. Come here, come here, that Absolutely. Yeah, and also macaroni do forno. Souvla's too big. Well, it's a, yeah, this is the question. Souvla or macaroni do forno? See, this is the thing. I had macaroni do forno tonight. Beef mince. Don't eat pork. Um, but for me, it's got to be souvla. Chicken souvla. I, souvla's, souvla's good, man. Souvla's good, but I need the smaller pieces. What, what, yeah, but what do you have with your souvla? What do you mean? What do you have? Patates? Do you have burguri? Do you have kritharagi? Do you have... What do you have? Do you have everything? You do... The piato is a vuno. Mm. Your patates, you've got your salada, you've got your, you got it all, you got it all in there. You might have even macaroni do forno on the same plate. You know, it's don't worry, man. Don't worry. Don't Remind worry. me to send you the video with the tzatziki. Oh no, that, what the tzatziki gay okay, guy? No, nah, man, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, but have you seen the Australians' reaction to it? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's brilliant. I showed it to my daughter it's like sushi mango. Six days, six six times a day. Yeah. Nah, Tzatzikiri. Malaga. Tzatziki. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, boys and girls. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back very, very soon. Like I said, link in the description to the donation. Email us your receipt. So at least we've got that registered. NC Network, Saturday, 11 o'clock in the morning, Cyprus time. It's in, sorry, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock. No, it is 11 o'clock. 9 o'clock UK, 11, 11 o'clock Cyprus. 9 o'clock 11 o'clock Cyprus time. 11 till 10. It's 11 hours of content. History in the making. Let's go.